Lara Chen's pulse quickened as she navigated the bustling corridors of Gastroplex 8, a marvel of interstellar architecture where the culinary elite of the universe converged. Her equipment, modest but meticulously prepared, rattled slightly in the anti-grav cart she pushed toward her designated booth. This corner of the galaxy, now thrumming with the anticipation of the annual Intergalactic Culinary Championships, felt a million light years away from her serene kitchen back on Earth. The air was rich with a tapestry of aromas, spiced Zalithian vapors mingled with the tangy essence of Jupitonian tubers. Competitors from distant worlds showcased their exotic ingredients with flamboyance that bordered on the theatrical. Against such grandeur, Lara's setup, with its traditional woks and earthen pots filled with Earth's humble spices and herbs, seemed starkly unassuming. I see the humans have brought their ancient cooking pots again. How quaint! A passing Zalithian chef sneered, his four eyes gleaming with mirth under his shimmering scales. Lara stiffened but kept her voice steady. Every pot tells a story. Every spice has its history. Don't underestimate the traditions that have healed worlds, she replied, her gaze fixed firmly on her preparations, ignoring the snickering crowd that had begun to gather. Her hands, however, were steady as she began her preparation. She reached for a pouch of golden turmeric, its earthy scent a reminder of home. As she sprinkled the vivid powder onto a sizzling pan, an adjacent competitor from Varn tossed a slice of his planet's famed crimson fruit into the mix. The fruit, known for its volatile flavor profile, reacted unexpectedly with the turmeric, emitting a brilliant azure flame that shot up toward the extractor vents. A hush fell over the surrounding booths. All eyes were now on Lara's pan, where the flame had morphed into a gentle, mesmerizing glow, bathing her booth in a soft, ethereal light. Fascinating, exclaimed an elderly Plutarchian judge, hovering closer on his anti-grav platform. What sorcery is this, Earthling? Lara smiled, her earlier anxiety replaced by a surge of confidence. No sorcery, just chemistry. Earth spices are more than just flavors. They are the remnants of our planet's ancient wisdom. The crowd murmured. Their earlier mockery softened into intrigued whispers. Even the Zalithian chef paused, his expression one of reluctant respect. Perhaps, Chef Chen, there is more to your Earth cuisine than meets the eye. We shall see what your ancient wisdom can achieve in this competition, Varox. The head judge declared, his tone now devoid of earlier disdain. As the initial demonstrations wound down and the spectators dispersed to other spectacles, Lara's hands moved with renewed vigor. She wasn't just here to compete, she was here to enlighten the galaxy about the underestimated bounties of Earth's cuisine. Overnight, Lara's booth at Gastroplex 8 had transformed from an underdog station into a focal point of galactic curiosity. As she prepared for the first official day of the competition, whispers of intrigue continued to swell around her. Her ancient earth spices, once overlooked, were now quietly discussed among even the most skeptical of chefs. Today's menu featured a dish dear to Lara's heart, a slow-cooked stew infused with ginger, garlic, and a rare earth herb known for its medicinal properties. She meticulously measured each ingredient keenly aware of the many eyes glancing her way. Her movements were methodical, a silent ballet between her cultural heritage and the advanced kitchen technology of the station. Chef Chen, is it true what they say about your food? That it possesses healing powers? Inquired a timid Juvian apprentice, her large, luminous eyes reflecting genuine curiosity. Lara offered a warm smile as she handed the apprentice a small sample try it. On Earth, we believe food not only nourishes the body, but also heals the soul. The Juvian's lips curled into a smile as she tasted the stew, her expression lighting up with surprise and delight. It's like feeling the warmth of a sun after a long, dark season, she whispered. As the day progressed, Lara served her dishes, 
each accompanied by a story of its origins and benefits. The crowd was particularly captivated by her use of turmeric, celebrated on earth for its anti-inflammatory properties. Each dish was a subtle testament to the sophistication often overlooked in humanity's culinary contributions. Suddenly, the lively chatter and clinking of cutlery were interrupted by a series of coughs echoing through the hall. A renowned chef from Capella staggered, clutching his throat, his skin turning a deep violet, an alarming sign of distress among his species. Panic fluttered through the crowd as more attendees exhibited similar symptoms. Is there a doctor here? shouted a bystander as confusion spiraled into chaos. Lara watched, heart pounding, as medical staff rushed to assist. Her mind raced. Could her dishes offer more than mere nourishment? Recalling the ancient texts of her grandmother, she remembered how these herbs had once quelled an epidemic on Earth centuries ago. Approaching Vrox, who was coordinating the emergency response, Lara's voice was calm but assertive. My dishes might help. They contain natural antivirals and antibiotics. It's worth a try. Vrox, visibly shaken yet desperate, nodded. Prepare whatever you can, quickly. We have nothing to lose at this point. As Lara set to work, the weight of her ancestors' knowledge pressed upon her shoulders. Today, she was more than a chef. She was Earth's ambassador, armed with her spices and the hope that her culinary heritage could transcend boundaries, not just of taste, but of life and death. As the mysterious illness rapidly spread through Gastroplex 8, Engendering palpable tension, Lara Chen worked with a focus born of desperation. Her booth, once a quaint culinary corner, had become an impromptu infirmary. The afflicted lay on makeshift cots, their diverse alien physiologies presenting unique challenges to the station's medical team. Recalling the earth-based remedies she had mastered, Lara mixed her spices with precise, almost reverent movements. Chef Chen? Can you really help them? Vrox asked, his usual imperious tone now tinged with hope and urgency. His eyes, reflecting the chaos around them, were fixed on her, searching for a sign of the miracle he had begun to believe might originate from Earth's primitive soil. With all due respect, Vrox, these are not merely Earth-based remedies, Lara corrected gently, without looking up from her mortar and pestle. They are the culmination of centuries of human understanding and respect for nature's gifts. If anything can help, these will. The air around them thickened with the scent of star anise and cloves, oddly mingling with the sterile tang of the station's atmosphere processors. Lara combined the ground spices with a viscous, honey-like syrup, known on Earth for its potent antimicrobial properties. The final concoction was a fragrant golden elixir that seemed to glow with promise under the station's artificial lights. Administer this slowly to each patient. It's gentle on human systems, but let's monitor their reactions closely, Lara instructed a team of volunteer nurses from various species. Her calm demeanor belied the anxiety gnawing at her insides. So much depended on this ancient recipe. As the first doses were administered, a hush fell over the crowd. All eyes were on the first few patients, watching for any sign of improvement or adverse reaction. Minutes passed like hours until a faint murmur began spreading among the watchers. It's working, whispered a nurse, a tentacled gralodite, her voice a mix of awe and disbelief. The Capellan chef, who had been among the first to show severe symptoms, was visibly relaxing his skin slowly returning to its normal shade. Look, they're breathing easier, and the discoloration is fading, someone else exclaimed. Vrox, who had watched the scene unfold with a critical eye, turned to Lara, his expression softening. Chef Chen, perhaps there is more wisdom in your earth traditions than I had believed possible. Lara nodded, allowing herself a moment of relief. Sometimes, the simplest ingredients hold the most power, she said. Our planet may not have the advanced technology of others here, but our connection to nature has taught us much about healing. 
As word of the recovery spread, the skepticism that had initially met Lara's efforts transformed into respect. Lara continued to prepare her remedies, each batch distributed with care to those still suffering. The station's atmosphere, once tense with the threat of tragedy, slowly filled with cautious optimism, thanks to the unassuming power of Earth's culinary legacy. With each passing hour, as reports of more recoveries emerged, the once skeptical crowd began to view Lara and her Earth cuisine in a new light. The space station's med bay, usually reserved for more conventional treatments, opened its doors to her. There, Lara was provided with a makeshift lab, a nod to her newfound status as a healer among the stars. Vrox, still imposing but visibly humbled by the events, approached Lara as she organized her supplies. Chef Chen, I must admit, your success thus far is unexpected. We have advanced medicines and technologies at our disposal, yet it was your simple concoction that made the difference, he said, his voice grudgingly admiring. Lara, meticulously measuring out doses of ginger extract, did not look up. Medicine is universal, Vrox. Sometimes it's the oldest cures deeply rooted in a planet's culture that hold the key. My ancestors used these remedies to ward off plagues. Now they serve the galaxy. Vrox watched, fascinated as she worked. And you believe these earth spices can continue to combat this ailment? I do, Lara affirmed, her confidence bolstered by the positive outcomes she had witnessed. Each spice has its role, much like each of us here. The challenge was far from over. As Lara prepared larger batches of her remedy, the station's chief medical officer, Dr. Halian, joined her. A renowned scientist from the aquatic world of Aquarian, Dr. Halian was initially skeptical but became intrigued by Lara's methods. Your approach is unconventional, Chef Chen, but the results are undeniable, Dr. Halian admitted, watching as Lara blended an aromatic mixture. Can you teach us? Of course, Lara replied, eager to share her knowledge. She detailed the properties of each spice as she worked, from turmeric's anti-inflammatory effects to garlic's natural antibiotic qualities. Together, they prepared doses, their collaboration forming a bridge between traditional earth medicine and alien technology. As they worked, a crowd gathered outside the med bay, their faces pressed against the transparent durasteel, their eyes wide with a mixture of curiosity and hope. See, Vrox? Our worlds aren't so different. We all seek healing, comfort, and survival, Lara said, handing a prepared vial to Dr. Halian, who nodded in agreement. Vrox, observing the scene, finally understood. Perhaps this competition is about more than just taste. It's about learning, sharing, and healing, he mused aloud, his voice imbued with a new respect for Lara and the little blue planet she called home. As the day turned into night, the station buzzed not only with the usual interstellar chatter, but also with discussions about Earth's healing spices. Lara's once overlooked booth had become a beacon of hope, a testament to humanity's hidden depths and the universal language of healing. As the makeshift lab buzzed with activity, Lara Chen found herself at the center of an unprecedented alliance of galactic proportions. The medical team, led by Dr. Halion, along with various alien chefs who had once scoffed at her simple earth ingredients, now eagerly assisted her. Each batch of her healing concoction required precise measurements and a steady hand, and the stakes couldn't have been higher. Time is of the essence, Lara, Dr. Halion intoned gravely, his webbed fingers deftly sorting through vials of distilled alien essences that might enhance the remedy's efficacy. The infection rate has slowed, but we're not out of danger yet. Lara nodded, her focus sharpened on the task at hand. She mixed a new batch, incorporating both her traditional spices and some of the alien compounds suggested by Dr. Halion. This collaboration was a delicate dance of ancient Earth wisdom and advanced extraterrestrial science. Let's hope this works, murmured Tazu, 
A Martian botanist who had provided a rare Martian thornflower extract believed to boost immune responses. His usual stoicism was replaced by palpable tension as he watched Lara incorporate the extract into her mixture. As they worked, Lara explained the properties of each component she added. Garlic for its natural antibiotic qualities, ginger for immunity, and now the thorn flower extract for its potent antiviral effects, she detailed, her voice steady despite the surrounding chaos. Vrox, observing from the sidelines, was deep in thought. The initial skepticism he had harbored was now replaced by a profound respect for the Earth chef who had turned the tide of a potential catastrophe. Chef Chen, what made you think to combine these elements? He asked, his curiosity piqued. Lara paused, meeting his gaze. Healing is an art, Varox. It's about balance and intuition as much as it is about science. My grandmother taught me that. You listen to the ingredients, to the body, and they guide you. The lab had become a hive of cross-species cooperation, with beings from different planets communicating, sharing techniques, and learning from one another. The atmosphere, though tense, was charged with a collective purpose. Every successful batch brought relieved cheers, yet the pressure remained relentless. As hours passed, the efficacy of the new enhanced remedy became apparent. Reports flowed in from across the station. Patients were recovering, symptoms were abating, and the atmosphere aboard Gastroplex 8 shifted from despair to cautious optimism. We're making a difference, Dr. Halion said, allowing himself a small smile as he watched a live feed of patients being administered the remedy. Your knowledge of Earth's botanicals might just have saved us all. Lara felt a surge of pride, not just for herself, but for her planet, her heritage, and the unexpected role it had played in this intergalactic crisis. She turned to the team, her fatigue momentarily forgotten. Let's keep going, she urged, her voice firm. Every batch we produce is another life saved. The night deepened, but the lights in the lab shone as bright as stars. Lara and her team worked tirelessly the unity and shared mission erasing the boundaries of species and culture. It was a testament to what could be achieved when the galaxy came together, united by a common threat and a shared hope. In those moments, Lara wasn't just an Earth chef. She was a galactic healer, her hands blending the ancient and the alien into a beacon of survival. And as Gastroplex 8 slowly emerged from the shadow of the outbreak, her name, and that of Earth, was whispered with reverence and gratitude. The corridors of Gastroplex 8 had never been so silent, with every sentient being on edge, waiting. The final batch of Lara's elixir was their last hope to stem the tide of the infection that threatened to engulf the space station. As the crucial hours ticked by, the makeshift lab that had been Lara's domain was now the focal point for potentially the most significant culinary-based medical intervention in galactic history. Lara, her hands steady despite the exhaustion that tugged at her limbs, sealed another vial of the golden elixir. Around her, the lab was a flurry of activity, with volunteers from dozens of planets labeling, organizing, and distributing the remedy as quickly as Lara and her team could produce it. Vrox, once a skeptic, now watched with a mix of awe and respect as Lara meticulously combined ancient Earth spices with advanced alien technology to create something truly unique. Chef Chen, you've turned what many considered primitive into our salvation, he remarked, his voice now warm with admiration. Lara glanced up, a tired smile touching her lips. It's not just about being advanced or primitive, Vrox. It's about understanding and respecting the wisdom in these traditions, she responded, her focus quickly returning to the vials. Outside the lab, the effects of Lara's remedy were broadcast live throughout the station. Images of recovering patients filled every screen, their miraculous turnaround a testament to her work. As each patient regained strength, the mood on Gastroplex 8 shifted from desperation to jubilation. In the central atrium, a large screen showed a young nebulan child, 
previously pale and listless, now laughing as he played with his family. The scene was a powerful symbol of the crisis's turning point, and the crowd that had gathered erupted in cheers. This is incredible, Dr. Halian said, joining Lara at her station. You've done more than cure a disease. You've bridged cultural gaps that have existed for centuries. Lara wiped her brow, her weariness momentarily forgotten in the swell of pride. We did it together. This, she gestured around the busy lab, is what happens when the galaxy truly comes together. As the final day of the competition dawned, the event took on a new shape. The culinary showdown was overshadowed by a celebration of life and unity. Lara was called to the main stage, where representatives from various planets gathered, their expressions one of profound gratitude. Vrox stepped forward, his stature imposing yet softened by the gratitude he felt. Ladies, gentlemen, and beings of all species, today we witnessed not just the survival of our friends and families, but also the rise of a new hero among us. Chef Lara Chen, an ambassador of Earth, has shown us the power of combining tradition with innovation. The applause was thunderous, resounding through the station as Lara accepted the Intergalactic Medal of Culinary Innovation, her eyes glistening with emotion.